Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update FL Studio so that you can get the newest version of FL Studio. Sometimes they fling out new plugins for free or new effects or new VSTs so and new features. So it's definitely worth upgrading if you haven't done it in a while. I know some people like to stay on FL 12 or whatever. This video is probably not for you. But if you want to upgrade or update your FL Studio, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna walk you through the process, so let's get straight into it. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists, so if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel, you will love it here. Now let's get straight into it. So here's FL Studio, and what happens with FL Studio when you open it up, and it's got an update ready for you is this pops up unless you click this and you say don't ask this in the future then it will never pop up again you just got to follow the instructions right here you will click this download button then update your license key by going to help then about and then I'll, I'll basically go through the whole thing so first of all let's press download and this will take us to the download page where FL Studio uploads their new update. So on their site, if you go to FL Studio and you go to download and you go to FL Studio, it will show you the newest edition right here. So this is the newest edition. We'll click on this down button for Windows and this will get us the download that we need. And then basically after this downloads, what we'll do is we'll run this and it will just install the new version. And then we need to basically go in FL Studio and make sure that it knows our license and all that sort of stuff so that we can actually use FL Studio in full and we're not using the trial version. So this is gonna take a little while. It's saying three minutes. So I'm gonna let that run and then I'll come back and I'll walk you through the rest of the process, okay? Okay, so the new FL Studio version has downloaded. So we're just gonna click over here and open that. And then it will open up its installer, which will go through and basically just press next, next, next. Make sure that it's installing in the same position as your FL Studio from before. Again, this is gonna take a little while to load, so I'll be back in a second or two. So here we have a big problem. Because we've got FL Studio running, we can't actually run our EXE file. So I'm just gonna close FL Studio in the background by doing that and now it's closed and now we can press OK and we can go with the installer. So we'll just click I accept, we'll go to all users, we'll install everything exactly where it was before. Uh, we won't install new settings because that may change over the settings that we already had. And then we'll go to next and we'll just go to next one more time. Make sure everything's in the same position that you saved it in the original time you installed FL Studio. If you don't do that, then it can get a bit wild. So I'm just gonna leave these. I'm not sure if these are my actual VST locations, but I'm just gonna leave everything the same right about now and just go to install and be back in a sec. Now we have installed FL Studio, but when you install it from this download link, it's basically in trial mode. That's why you need to go to help and then enter your email and the password to actually unlock the program again, as it says right here. So let me actually just go to next and we'll go to next one more time and then we'll open up FL Studio and I'll show you how to basically get your email and password in there. It's very, very easy, very, very straightforward. Okay, so here we are in the new FL Studio, although it seems like my licensing has already gone through, so I might not actually have to do this, and that may be the case for you as well. But if it hasn't gone through, then you'll need to go to help, which is up here in the top, top left-hand corner, then go to about, and then here, you'll be able to actually enter your email address and password. And once you enter all that, you click unlock with account. And this should be the email address and password that you used to sign into the image line website where you purchased, you know, FL Studio and all that sort of stuff or whatever email address and password is linked with the license for FL Studio. So make sure that you've got that 
up and running and ready to go then click unlock with account and you're ready to go but luckily it's already unlocked and i don't even have to go through all of this so that's how you update fl studio fl studio 20 in particular on your pc i hope this video helped you out if you've got any questions that you want me to answer or any other tutorials you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below and i do have a question of the day for you my question of the day is what version of fl studio are you currently using please let me know in the comment section down below because that's very very interesting and i also want to let you know about my rmb trap template this is basically a fl studio template that has all the effects and processing you need in order to get your beats half mixed before you even start so you don't have to worry about mixing your beats and all that sort of stuff has all the eqs in the right places and all that sort of stuff all you really need to do is set the levels and you're good to go or add any extra effects that you want to add onto this so this will really really help you out and save you a lot of time when you're making your beats link to grab this is in the description down below as well as links to some free presents for getting this far in the video so definitely check that out and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing so i'll see you there peace out